lives we save. Nigeria is known for its snow-covered docks, I believe. I believe that's a uh, pretty standard site in Nigeria. Central, this is Big Sky. Confirm signal uplink. Strike team is in position near the terror site. Awaiting confirmation. Solid copy, Big Sky. Strike one has been given the green light. Your highest priority is to protect those civilians. This probably isn't that bad when you can fly. Because this entire area... The reason I hate it so much is it's so complicated to move around on the ground down here. This is blocking movement. This fire used to block movement. Now my guys are like robots and stuff. There's this ledge, which is really hard to get up and down around. There's this thing, which is really tough. You're coming over the top of a ledge with enemies often underneath you and stuff. It's just so much to deal with. Heading to that location. So much to deal with. This is why I don't like this map very much. But when my soldiers just fly or are death robots, I think everything gets a little bit simpler, which I appreciate. Affirmative. Moving out. Appreciate simplicity in life. Am I using starter weapons? Um, I'm using Gauss weapons, which are not starter weapons. I still have ballistic pistols because I actually haven't yet researched anything, which allows you to upgrade the basic pistol, believe it or not. Uh, Good to go. That might change before the end of the campaign, or it more likely won't. Eyes open. The aliens seem to be fielding mechanized units more frequently, and with a much greater range of firepower. How are we going to combat something of that size? We could probably spend years oh. analyzing the inner workings of that thing. We have a sectopod, an ethereal, a mutant elite. We have two sectopods? Oh, this is going to be fun. Boy, what else is in this pod? <laughs> Joe. It's an ethereal, two mutant elites, and Joe. I never trusted Joe. Wait, that's my name. Oh, fuck. <laughs> uh, sometimes, they, sometimes people call me Joe. Short for Joe and Rips. All right. Sectos always look like that. I don't know. I haven't seen one for about a year. Can't remember. I think there's a pod down here. Can you stop? I'm not like, can you stop? Why are you doing that? I feel like I'm scolding a dog right now. Are you... <laughs> I'm not touching the controls. It's fighting me. The game, the game has worked out that I'm winning. But it can't handle it. I'm just gonna throw it like this, I guess, since it won't let me move my camera. All right, and we also have a whale pod, which is, looks like nothing special. That's probably everything on the map. Houston, we have liftoff. Alright, stuff is about to happen. Let's find out what it is. Oh, 
Oh, there's a cyber disc over there. No damage on selected target. If everything on the map patrols into me, I might be backing this. It's exciting. Very confused. Sectopods are shuffling away. Sectopods look like they just got home from leg day when they walk. They like don't wanna don't wanna bend any of the muscles in their legs, so they just sort of wobble from side to side. No civilians are dying anymore because we have got a vision of every pot on the map. To that I don't location. understand how this cyber disc ended up over there, but I'm gonna go kill it. Sounds exciting, anti French. It also makes me wish that I had more time to play video games. If only there were more hours in each day. Moving to position. I'm on it, Commander. Down. We did it. That's a win. Let's go home. Back online. Killed all the enemies. Nothing is left. Why make Darkest Dungeon already a grind fest harder? I think the goal is to make it less of a grind fest, but more of a like like build more on the concept of complex decisions and all that. I found that Darkest Dungeon was mostly about just learning some basic rules. Okay, there is another pod that we haven't seen yet. Hey, that cyber disc is dead too. Everything is coming up XCOM. That's affirmative. Affirmative, Commander. I'm glad that I found out before I started doing the Darkest Dungeons that I had to level up all the guys for them. I would have been very displeased if I found that out after having spent 50 hours or whatever getting to that point. We do have to rescue one civilian at some point. Just for like morale or something? I don't really understand. I've never actually confirmed that you lose the country if you don't rescue a single civilian on these. Let's try not to confirm that in this mission. Uh, I don't know why they're flying there, but they are. Good for them. Steady here. Overwatch, Overwatch, reload. I'm on it, Commander. Step the mechs forward a little bit. Heading to that location. On my way. Eyes peeled, Commander. 
Commander, over the front chair, covering the top. Not elites have such plotting feet. I wonder if they need good arch support. How does the like? How do the physics work for foot structure as the weight of a being increases? Arches are just really efficient for supporting weight, right? It probably wouldn't make that much difference. I don't know. I feel, Commander. Elephants have flat feet. Whales don't have feet. Thank you, Mother Bank. Thank you. Elephants do have flat feet. That's interesting. Yeah, hey, Roger. How's it going? Enemy unnecessary combat music. 2012. I'm a little confused about what's going on with civilian deaths right now. They seem like they can't decide whether they're dying or not. Sound like an awful day, Roger. Stay safe out there. Poor civilians just sound so resigned to their fates. They don't realize that if they could just hold out a moment longer, they could live in a world where people become robots with no limbs. Javelin rockets would actually be really good here. Is this Smurf? It's not Smurf. This is the sort of rocket that Smurf would shoot. Heat ammo and hollow targeting. We don't have shred. have neglected to have shred. Well, there's a pot over there. I do not have autopsies on these. I'm pretty sure that they don't have reactive targeting sensors yet though, right? Also, I'm pretty sure that my mechs can't actually see them. So how do I kill that? Wow. I don't. Alright. Um, you want to disable shot? That's a sectopod, yeah? 
see if we'll shot this. This one feel too good. Moving to position. Moving out. Heading there now. Bring these guys back into Overwatch. I'm hardly convinced that this is going to be okay. But it might be. I don't know. I hope this guy doesn't walk forward, pull all the mech overwatches, and then the other one walks forward, has hit and run, and kills us. Interesting. Interesting how this is going so far. Dead? Oh, no big deal, no big deal. That, I mean, it probably would have dealt like five damage, right? Probably, probably no big deal. <laughs> uh, yeah, Palloard, how's it going? I don't think Sectopod Fire is any different from the others now. They're just bigger and clunkier than the enemies you usually see. Weapon systems ready. Ready to fire. It's killing time. On your turn. We're green to go. Okay. There are four Mutant Elites on this map, so if we get three corpses, we can go for a capture on the last. There's a drone somewhere, apparently, and then there's this Ethereal Pod and this Super Pod over there, too. Could pull the Ethereals with a Battle Scanner. Ethereals. Pull the Ethereal with a Battle Scanner. I'm just gonna let stuff patrol around a little bit longer, though. I'm not sure that it did, Findle. Sometimes sectopods seem not to take that much damage, but I don't actually know. Necronarkin. That's a good one. Oh, are they hunting me because of the drone? Interesting. Oh my god, it sacrificed itself on the turn that this pod pulled. What a dastardly maneuver. A devious deed. Didn't pull very well though. On the lookout for a chance to capture, but I'm pretty happy to just go for the last guy too. Already have an ethereal captured this campaign, so that can just die. your advice, Findle. I appreciate I appreciate people trying to help me out like that. Oh god, please don't kill the Mutan. Please don't kill the Heading 
to that location. On the move. We just save like a shot. Let it turn. Roger not. Oh, actually, we can just kill him. Okay, let's just kill him then. On the move. Oh, you massive girl. The reason that I didn't want to capture an ethereal was that it was actively bad for me to capture that ethereal. It blocked me from doing the ethereal autopsy. I just, uh, I was swayed by the wishes of my viewers. You guys, you guys all want instant gratification. This game's not about that. Sometimes you gotta kill the ethereal so that you can study its corpse. And then later, you can capture it. Scanning. Heading out. Moving. On the move. I think this pot is stuck in there, right? I think I've had this happen before on this map, actually. Those guys just can't work out how to get out of that room. They're just gonna be there forever. Do I even know how hard the capture is? It hasn't been particularly hard in any of the other campaigns. You just like capture the guy and then you beat him or whatever it is that Valen does. Alright, Muton Elite has moved forward. We've got a heavy floater, a regular Muton. Pretty simple pod. Don't have Shred here, so Hollow Target is fine. Uh, okay. I still have just barely enough humanity to adjust where I'm aiming that to not hit the civilian. Whoops, that was not what I meant to do. 92% disable. Hit. Alright, probably regen. Turns. I'll try another flamethrower next turn, I guess. On my way. No regen. This makes this a little bit difficult then. Got a ghost grenade here. 
so let's go stop. Aye, aye. Let's run the other people away. Oh, actually, we don't have a marauder, so we can go. Location confirmed. One. That's a first. Two. Position three. confirmed. Overwatch, good choice. <laughs> Saved a civilian. <laughs> that was weird. Let's go. I wish I could heal him. Let's just try this. Okay. Didn't feel like making that more complicated than it had to be. Mr. Paloward is up to Master Sergeant. Oh yeah, I took platform stability on him. That was an interesting decision. 99 aim is pretty nice. Sectopod autopsy is available. Remember, we will be um, watching. This thing is available. 60 ml though. That's gonna wait a little while. I might never finish that. I might never finish that. Interesting. Start research on an ethereal autopsy. God, you need so many sectopod wrecks. Apparently at some point I made it up to 200 weapon fragments as well. Let's go ethereal autopsy for now though. Night Renoscope, thanks for tuning in. Does hollow target improve arc thrower odds? It does not. off in two days. What does Japan want? Is there even a point in looking? I don't know. Contact detected. We've got a destroyer on a bombing run over Nigeria. It's really focusing on Nigeria. Um, I think we go defensive. We have a 9 kill interceptor to we follow up here. We will probably take multiple interceptors to bring down a destroyer at this point now. in the campaign. We're getting up here. We lost the bubble. Contact detected. Bangs out. It's not where Nigeria is, just in case anybody's wondering. Closing on target. Yeah. Happy birthday, Umbach. Happy game birthday. We don't have to do this mission. We we don't have to do this mission. It'll get us some meld. It'll be fine. Pretty sure they made it all the way to the Atlantic Ocean. Maybe that was just like the the follow through on the bombing run, though. You know, you gotta follow all the way through with your motion. It's like tennis. Double mission the Pathfinder. Double mission the Pathfinder. I guess I can just bring a Marauder. It's allowed. It's allowed. Gunner, Scout, Sniper. Yeah, 
The other two soldiers are always just like, just there. Engineers get to carry battle scanners, so they sort of count for something. I didn't know that one, Findel. Thank you for sharing that with us. It's amazing how much you can learn about the world if you just keep an open mind. And look around you. a bit of a weaker team. Pretty noticeably we do not have a single in the zone soldier. Should be okay though. I should really put the restorative mist on the guardian. That would make a lot more sense. WK is a workshop in this spreadsheet, yeah. It's not even a spreadsheet, it's a drawing panel. Dropship has a rock. Listen up. We're going to be dropping you deep in the Nigerian be back interior in 30 for the next operation. We've locked in the coordinates of the alien crash site. Fortunately, the civilian population in the surrounding area is minimal. We have to move to secure the area as quickly as possible. <laughs> 